Hi everybody! I just thought I would do a check-in. Um, it has been six days since I shaved my head and I thought I would do a little bit of an update. Um, it has been fun. I am so so happy that I shaved my head. Um, it was a shock initially, I won't lie, um, but it has been really lovely not to have any hair. Um, sorry, you can see my husband's work clothes behind me. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been really positive actually. I've had a lot of positive comments. Say so I'm feeling very empowered. I'm feeling very free. Um, it's very liberating. It's incredibly liberating to take all your hair off, um, which I have discovered and so far, no downsides. I haven't had any nasty comments yet. Um, although I haven't shared it very widely yet. This is probably uh, this and my craft podcast. I also do a craft podcast. Um, are the first kind of public outings of my hair uh, because a lot of my friends are online. So other than my best friend Emma, who hopefully I will be getting on um, this channel at some stage. Um, other than her seeing pictures, nobody really knows. And my husband, of course, because you know he lives with me. Um, yeah, nobody really knows. And that also has been kind of fun. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if you saw my shaving video, which is on this channel, um, it was very, very hot day. We've had a lot of hot weather here in Adelaide. I live in Adelaide, uh, South Australia, and um, it's had a lot of hot weather. And I was already going through a process of cutting my hair shorter and shorter and shorter. And I, I, I kind of had this on the bucket list, as I said in my other video, and I decided just to go for it. And I'm really, really glad that I did. And I kind of don't think I want to grow my hair back at this stage. I'm feeling like there is just no negatives to it at this point in time. Um, the probably the most confronting thing and the, and the, the least favorite thing about me having, um, my head shaved is, uh, I am a plus size lady and, um, I feel like I would love it more if I had a little bit more definition around my cheekbones and my jawline. Um, but you know, what are you going to do? Um, I'm at the stage in my life where I kind of am into loving myself instead of making myself feel like crap for being fat or, um, having mental health issues. And yeah, I'm at the point where I am all about learning to love myself. So, you know, I'm going to love myself fat face and all, <laughs> um, you know, that's what contour is for, right? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's probably the only downside so far is that I'm feeling I'm very confronted by my larger face, but that's okay. Um, I'm noticing my nose a lot more now as well. Um, because you know, I don't have a petite nose. Let's, let's put it that way. Um, I am aware. Uh, but yeah, I am loving it. It's so freeing. It's, it's just, I feel so good about it. Like I just, because the thing is I was thinking about it and I've never really been one for hair. Like I've, oscillated between long hair, short hair, long hair, short hair. I've had so many different colors of hair. Um, clearly I'm pink now. Um, yeah, I've been black, red, blonde. Um, and I've never really been one of those people that I, I don't tie up my identity with my hair. And you know, the thing is, is I'm happy to cut it all off and grow it back because my hair grows quite quickly and I mean, let's face it, it's just hair. Like who, who really cares? It doesn't matter. So, um, yeah, I kind of, I feel like this is how I was always meant to be because I just, I can, I, I feel, I feel drab with long hair. I felt like a boy with in between hair. 
I don't, I mean, because I have a round face, bobs and things like that don't necessarily suit me that well. Um, and just my, my care factor of being absolutely zero about my hair. I don't want to style it. I don't want to be spending ages straightening it or curling it or uh, doing all of that sort of thing. So I think this is probably a good fit for me is just to shave my head. Um, and that's, that's how I'm feeling right at the moment. And, you know, we'll see how it changes. If I end up not liking it and I want to grow it back out, then I'll do that then. And I'll, I'll address that when that feeling comes up. But for now, I'm really, really happy with it. So last night I actually shaved it down to a number one. I discovered a, another baldy um, on YouTube. Her channel is Gabrielle Olivia. Um, I'll put a link in the description so you can find her channel as well. She's a darling. And um, she shaves her, her head to a number one every week and bleaches her hair. She wears her hair blonde. And I was so inspired by her to give that a go that I did that yesterday. I had a box of blonde um, hair color lying around and I just got the clippers put the number one guard on and shaved it right down put the blonde in and I was like eh, thank you no thank you I hate it um and that was kind of how I felt about it, it was very much um thank you I hate it I felt like it made me look like I was bald so um not that there's anything wrong with being bald if that's the look that you're after but it wasn't the look that I was after so um yeah i stuck some pink in it today um because i had some arctic fox lying around as well if you're interested this is the virgin pink colorway um or color colorway is a throwback from what i do i am a yarn dyer so um you say colorway is about your your colors that you that you dye um so yeah i've got pink hair i'm probably not going to do a number one Again, I think I will stick to the number two, which is what I started with um, in the other video. Uh, but yeah, that has been my one week uh, head shaving experience. And I hope that it continues to stay positive. And if you're thinking about it, give it a go. It's just hair. Uh, so thank you so much for watching, signing off now, and uh, I'll chat to you all soon. Bye.